Alveston is a major town on the northwest coast of Tasmania, Australia, on the mouth of the Leven River on Bass Strait. The newly constructed Leven Bridge greets the growing tourism numbers with magnificent beaches, offering surfing, fishing, bushwalking, making Alberson one of Tasmania's popular holiday destinations. We kick off today's stage of the Mersey Valley Tour with a 17.9k time trial along the picturesque coastline between Alberson and Penguin and return. So we've got Ruth Corset who is running second currently in the National Road Series. Then we've got Lizzie Williams who's at making an outstanding comeback to cycling. Along with Bridie O'Donnell who won a bronze medal in the Australian Time Trial Championships in Ballarat. So she is one to look out for today in today's time trial. Yeah, I drove here yesterday and checked out the course. It's beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of the Tour of Bright. It's sort of rolling and undulating. Nice little scenery there with the train track on the right. So it should be good. I know that the time trial won't make the race because there's two big stages tomorrow and Sunday. I'm just hoping to be up high in the time trial. There's a couple of girls missing, obviously, Beck Wysak and Flick Wardlaw and a few other riders that are probably much more TT specialists like me. Absolutely missing the fact that Flick isn't here because obviously she's a total star at time trialling, but thrilled for her in Europe, especially being on the podium, which is just great. But I think it's going to make it interesting for tomorrow given that smaller teams and, and quite a few girls with vested interests like Lizzie Williams from Specialised. So, you know, I think there's a lot of good riders who are motivated to just not lose too much time today. My tip for the day is Bridie O'Donnell from Kendall Hodges and Ruth Corset. Because I started earlier in the starting order, it meant that I had to wait a little bit longer to see how some of those other riders would go. But in a way, then it actually just helps you focus um, and not so much worry about where other GC riders are going to go. I'm getting a little bit better at finding a, an early, strong, aggressive rhythm in the time trials. And I'm, I'm glad I rode over the course yesterday. I really used a lot of those nice undulating bumps to kind of really just punch over and stay in the saddle and be as fast as I could. The conditions would have suited Ruth being cold and wet. Um, obviously um, it closes the field up a little bit because uh, um, they obviously can't get the purchase going up and down the, the little climbs. So uh, it has helped Ruth keep, the, keep it nice and close. That was hard. Great result. Uh, Bridie O'Donnell was the early leader and she held on all day to beat Kendall Hodges and Ruth Corson in a very, very testing 17.5 wet time trial. It's my first uh, NRS stage win, so I'm pumped. It makes the whole boat trip over and the seasickness and the rain all worth it. Well, she is one of Australia's leading female time trialists. She was always the favourite. Um, she won quite convincingly and um, she will be hard to peg back on the next two road stages. I've got about 28 to 32 seconds on three or four other girls including Ruth Corset who's obviously looking at winning the tour and Tessa Fabry, a VIS rider who's a very good climber. So those girls are quite close together but to have a 30 second buffer I feel, I feel good about tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Can I go inside now? <laughs>